hey, hey. It's another Sunday night, and it is time to focus our energy for the week. Yes, come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, National Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. So come on in and join me. Let's focus our energy for the week. Look at some cards and talk about what's going on. Give me a thumbs up. Say hello so I know you're here. I see a couple people joining in. So come on in. Let me know what's going on for you. You know, we're right here at the last quarter of the moon. All right, I got a little heart there. Hey, A. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Vicki. We're at the last quarter of the moon, moving into dark moon this week. Really, some intense energies going on. So let me know that you're here. Tell me what's going on with you. How are you feeling? Are you noticing this intensity, right? We're gathering so much energy. We're coming to the end of the fall. We're going to be moving it right into winter very soon. I know we're already starting to feel that, right? A little snow down south. Hey, hey, hey. Who would have known in December, right? So all this energy is building. We're also collecting a lot of family energy right now. How many people have noticed that? Definitely. Yep, I got a little intense there from Adrian. Yay, good to see you guys. Good to see you and Brooke. You too, yesterday. We had fun. We had a party. We made some blends, some roll-ons. We had fun. Lucky Cat ice cream. All of that was really fun. So I'm so glad that you guys were able to come and join me. All right, so come on in. Let's push the share button. I'm going to see where I can find it here on Facebook. Share it out. Maybe you know somebody that needs a little encouragement right now. Lots of times when we go into dark of the moon, it's hard week for many people. All right, it's a choice. That vibration just drops. That's sometimes what happens. You see if I can find it here. All right, here we go. I'm going to share it out. And do me a favor too. Share it out. Say hello. I'm going to share it in the, just the timeline. Oops. There we go. All right. Hey, T. How are you? Caught a little bit of your... Your group too. So much going on. We just need all the energy we can get. Isn't that right? Give me a thumbs up. We definitely do. I know there's a lot of intensity. I know for myself that, oh my gosh, I just know that ugh, hanging with the masters this time of year, right? Working in some of that high vibration energy can be really intense. Can make us, help us <laughs> release and forget about where we are, which is kind of where I'm at today. Really intense energy going on for me. Helping my mama, working in that higher vibration. Right, so let me know what else is going on for you guys. All right, here we go. I think I found it. One more share here. Let me do this so I can focus on you guys. All right, one more. I'm going to share it to Brad Powell's group. He's awesome. If you and want to know anything about how to make a video or Facebook Live, he is the guy to do it. Brad Powell and the big reach. There we go. All right, guys, I got it shared. Now I can focus. All right. Hey, Sean, how are you? So take a deep breath wherever you are for this moment. Maybe it's your first deep breath of the day. Maybe it's not. All right. Take a deep inhale and just exhale out. Notice where you're feeling right now. All right. We're coming to the end of the fall equinox. We're coming to the end of the phase of the moon. We're opening up. Gosh, so much going on. So many shifts. That Scorpio energy is still hitting us. It's still pushing us to get out there, to bring our spiritual practice forward. If we're not, we're going to feel a lot of that disconnect. We're going to feel a lot of that discontent, especially that struggle energy. All right, by now, here we are, the end of the fall. We've been talking about this, right? We've been talking about harvesting our work, looking at what's going on. And now especially, it's rake those leaves away that aren't serving. Burn them away. Let them go. We don't need to carry this on. What do you do? Do you notice that? Do you carry on the stuff into each season? Give me a hashtag carry on if that's what you do. Or are you able to kind of let it go and fresh start? Which is it for you? Really important as we transition into the different seasons to let it go. And that's how we use the cycle of the moon, right? That's how we use it to help us keep moving through, keep going on, keep updating our energy. 
We also have that Mercury retrograde going on right now, all right? Mercury right now can help us, that retrograde can help us redo, review, renew, recycle. I don't know what happened to me, but all of a sudden I started tearing up my entire office today and getting rid of stuff and reorganizing. It feels so good, right? That's the good way to use Mercury retrograde right now. We have all this energy building. We can't continue to go up that stream if we're not releasing and letting go. Really important, all right? Really important to really let go and really review, redo, re-harvest even your life right now. Really important. Also that family energy, all right? We're starting with those get-togethers. It's been building up since Thanksgiving, all right? We're noticing it now too. That's the best of just cutting it, sending it back, letting it go. That's part of that release energy so that you can be alignment with your spirit. Not everybody else's. You don't have to carry it all around, all right? Clean your energy each and every day. Release it out. And we work with the cycles of the moon like right now we can let go. We can breathe it out, let it go. Because by the time we get to the end of the week, we've got that dark of the moon. And if we're carrying too much of that old energy, that's what we're going to feel. All right. We talked about this last week. I don't know how many people listened to the last episode on the Empowered Spirit Show with Maureen uh, St. Germain. She was talking about waking up in 5D. We talked about the different dimensions, the portals of energy, and this is kind of the same thing too. It's a choice. It's a choice to be weighed down by all of that lower vibration. Hang out in the negative. Hang out in the stress. Hang out in the struggle. Nothing's working. Nothing's going right. All right, we get to the end of the year and it's like, we can feel like we're out of breath, all right, or out of energy. Or we can let it go. We can choose... Choose the higher vibration. Higher vibration is mindset. It's like being out there, being in the flow, knowing when to step back. All right? Really very important. Yes, Alexander, wasn't that a great episode? She brought up so much concepts, so many concepts for us to think about. Is there karma anymore? Moving between 5D and 3D. The fourth dimension, a portal of energy, really fascinating and really had to help us stop and think about it. And if you are practicing meditation, practicing energy work, practicing yoga, astrology, pranic healing, whatever those energy modalities, that's how we move up into 5D. That's how we remain in that place. So check it out, Empowered Spirit Show with Maureen, if you did not listen to it. Really, really worthwhile. In fact, I'm not on the air tomorrow, so go back and listen to that one. Preparing for next week. Next week, we're going to really get into new moon energy. Going to get through that hump of dark of the moon. Z Girl Astrology Report, Empowered Report, will be back with us. Yes, talking about the new moon and a sneak peek for 2018. Got some fascinating astrology aspects coming up. So be sure to check those out. If you didn't listen to Maureen last week, go back and check it out. It's a really good episode. Lots of things to think about and talk about. All right, I got a yay for that. A wonderful episode. It really was. I had to really listen to it over and over to understand it. All right, so let's see. As we go through the beginning of the week, Monday, Monday we're going to feel a little harmony. Monday's going to be kind of easy. As we start to build, though, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have a little more energy. Some of that Scorpio energy is coming back at us, so that's that deep energy. Do your work. Get it out there. Use your voice. Use that passion to really open up. Take another step forward. Up level. Upgrade. That's what this is all about right now. It's continuing on. We've talked about this. Don't let that slide. Don't let that lower vibration pull you down. We have to stay up. All right. Now, listen here, folks. If you are in Alabama Tuesday, we must vote. We must stand up. We must really push this through. In fact, if you can, offer a meditation. Put it out there for world leaders all over the place, but especially here in Alabama, that whole, let's just say, let's go Doug Jones, all right? We need a shift. We need a change. Don't forget to vote, all right? That energy on Tuesday will create a little tension as we move forward, move forward toward the dark of the moon, that sting of Scorpio. So do your work, and I'm calling on all you guys to hold this vibration all for the highest good, send to the leaders, really get strong out there. Now, as you move towards the end of the week, that's where we're going to start to feel the dark of the moon. You're going to feel a little bit more of that darker energy, all right? This is what surfaces right before the new moon, so you've got to release and let go. That's what our focus on the meditation is going to be about today, really releasing and letting go, all right? So it's going to be a good week. There are some tensions building Work with your energy. Work with your energy. Work with your energy, all right? Don't keep carrying this along. We are only about 10 days out from the from the solstice, all right? A beautiful time of year. So the days are getting darker. They're getting shorter. They're pulling us in. And if we don't clear out that energy, 
the darkness can feel a little bit overwhelming, all right? Yes, Kimmy says, release and renew explains, yes, why you did, why you were compelled to smudge the house, sage it. Yes, really important. I don't know, same for me. I was compelled just to tear up my office and start rebuilding some of my files and just clear it out. It feels good. It really does, rather than we weighed down. All right, so let's take a moment before we get to the cards and let's just center our energy for the week. So wherever you are, if you can, just feel, feel the vibration of the bowls, feel the sound. I'll light a little sage in here and just pull your energy together. Call it back, call it back from the weekend, call it back from the week ahead. Some of us here down south, we had a little snow day. It was really nice on Friday, right? To connect. So calling in all of your energy, take a moment with me right now. Take a nice deep inhale. Ha! Ah, exhale out. Yes, Brooke, I love the new moon too. Full moons are intense for me. All right, but we got to get to the dark of the moon. Got to get through that. Inhaling and just open up your energy. Breathe it all the way up. And as you exhale, bring it all the way back down deep into the earth. And again, inhale, open in that vertical channel. Open it up into the higher realms and exhale, send it all the way back down deep into the earth. Just call in, call in your guidance for this week. Call in your spirit guides, call in the masters, call in the archangels, and just ask. Ask for guidance, ask for protection, ask to be surrounded in love and light. Open up to that fifth dimension energy as you go through the week. Take a moment right now with me and just honor, honor the direction of the west. That's where the fall energy is as we come towards the end of this fall season. Honor the West, harvest your work, release out, burn away the leaves. The West we honor, the North, the East, and the South, above us, below us, right into our very hearts. Open up from the heart, drop the ego, open the heart, sending out the highest vibrations to all around. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, this is where we release. Energy follows intention. Release it out all the way through the feet, deep into the earth. If you know grounding cords, drop a grounding cord. And release that excess energy, whatever you're carrying around. Stress, fear, overwhelm, family, holidays, loneliness, sadness, whatever it is. Inhaling and exhale, sending it back down, deep into the earth. Just let it go. Energy follows intention. Inhale, open to the higher realms, taking you up into that fifth dimension. Exhale, release out all of that lower vibration. Let it go. And again, inhaling. And exhale, send it all the way back down, deep into the earth. And begin to pull your energy in towards you. All right, feel your energy coming in. Feel that alignment, all right? Side to side, front to back. Find that center for you. Center your feet. Feel them connect to the energy of the earth. Pull it in. Release out the excess. Maybe you need to do a little cord cutting if you've been through family. Send it back. All those around, just send it back. As you do, feel that strength that empowers you right now. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Return to this feeling as often as you need as you move through your work week. All right, coming back. Opening the eyes as we go to look at the cards. Kind of interesting, kind of perfect alignment for right now. I love how they always show up. I went back to the wild unknown. All right, so before we had asked one, two, or three, so remember what it is you picked. If you didn't, go ahead and choose one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Love to do that. All right, so the first card is a ten of wands. All right, this is perfect for right now because this is all about letting go of all that excess energy. All right, it's done. And wands is our passions, our desires. It's all of that powerful energy that comes forward within. So one is about letting it go. One is not getting too caught up in all that other stuff, all right? When this card comes up, things are pretty much done. There is definitely representing like some struggle going on, some hard times. It's kind of like, okay, the energy's out. We're done. So the purpose of this card is to remind you now, let go. Let go so you can move on. Really important, right? Right in alignment with where we are now. So if it's coming up for you, that's a great reminder that that's exactly what you need to do. 
All right, the next card that comes up, I love this card, is the Daughter of Cups. This is for all those empaths out there, all right? If you have that empathic nature where you're picking up all that extra emotional energy, that's what you have to let go. Look how it vibrates in the water, all right? Look at that. It's time to let that emotional energy go. Go back into the creative energy, but let that excess emotional energy go. Don't take on too much of other people's energy. All right, this is that young empath energy. Know your boundaries, learn your boundaries. Empaths can be highly powerful, but you must learn your boundaries, all right? If this card is coming up for you, check in. Check in with your emotional body and see where it is for you. Very important right now. We can get into that creative energy, but when we're taking in too much, we're overloading ours, our own system. All right, all right, so true. Hey, Laura, I missed seeing you yesterday. I was hoping I'd see you. All right, number three. Many of you chose number three. Father of Pentacles. I love this card. Okay, th I love them all. Ha ha. All right, this card is all about, it's that entrepreneurial spirit. It's that, it's that, um, it's that like building your work. Like sometimes we can get like really caught up and working really hard and we seem like we're kind of boring, right? I know that happens to me, but the truth is, is you're really working diligently at building your craft. Look at his antlers. Look at the beautiful color. This takes time. This takes years to build up. It's Pentacles, so it's our work. Father energy is that masculine. It's a really powerful card. Very interesting. All right, this could represent an aspect of yourself too. And maybe you forget sometimes that you're interesting and that you're different and you have these things going on because you're working so hard. So this reminds you not to take that for granted. This reminds you to keep building, to really get in there and do that work. Build your work. Build your craft, all right? And maybe for some of you that are just stepping into your own work and your own business, this is exactly confirming. This is what you're building right now. All right, so don't think of it as like really hard and really boring. Think of it as really creative and really moving forward as an entrepreneur. I love that, all right? Now, the universal card for everybody is the Six of Swords, all right? Now, this is all about moving into more peaceful energy, all right? Look at this. This is down here, all this background noise and stuff. Six is about change. Look at the rising above. Beautiful card. The rainbow is at the top. So how can you initiate that change as we move through the seasons? Rise above it. Bury that shit that doesn't work, all right? I can't say it any other way, all right? Sorry. And the way that we do it, it's done. It's let go of. And if this card, all right, I got a lot of hearts on that one. If this card keeps coming up for you, check in with what you're bringing in. Check into that negativity around you because this is what we want to rip up and let it go. I can't do that with the cards, but that's what this card is about. And that's going to help you to release and find that new rainbow, find that new beginning. All right. If you drew the daughter of cups here, this is reminding us to get out of that emotional energy so that you can see the light. We don't want to stay buried. All right. Bury that shit. Ha ha. Right, Donna. <laughs> And then the entrepreneurial spirit is just keep working. Just keep working and trusting that things are coming forward, all right? Leaving, fall, and fall. Yes, definitely. Leaving the fail in the fall. I can't quite see what that says, Brooke, but yes. Fall forward. Fail forward, right? It's okay to fail. Just try it. Do it. If it doesn't work, what's my favorite word this year? Course correct. Maybe it's two words, right? All right, so those are the cards for right now. Perfect alignment for this week. So as you go through this week, where can you bury that shit? Hashtag bury that shit. Donna, where can you let it go? We don't want to carry it through. This is a new moon coming in at the end of the week. All right, we have so much possibility coming up. We'll talk about that on the um, episode on the 18th. I think it airs. But for now, we want to focus on that week of letting go and releasing. Let it go. It's done. All right, when the energy goes out, that's when we know. When we feel so challenged to even do it, that's when we know. Don't get too emotional. Clear those emotional bodies. All right. Be creative. Clear it out. Build your craft. Really important. So that you can create that change. Move into a more peaceful energy. New horizons. New moons coming up. Really important that we move through that. All right, guys. Did I answer everybody's questions? Anybody need any more guidance? Let me know. Post below. Leave and fall and fall. I love that. That's what Brooke said. I love that. Leave, fall, and fall. Bury it. Sweep it away. Rake it up. That's what we want to do. We don't want to carry it forward. There's so much opening up in the winter season. So much to dream about, but we need to have a clean slate. That's where I know I'm getting to with cleaning up my area right now. I need that clean time, and I'm so happy to have that. All right, let's see. Thelma, you want a card? Let's go. Let's see what comes up for you, Thelma. All right, so the world came up. I love this. What are you doing in your life? 
All right, the universe wants to support you. Are you at that place where you wanna be? This is calling you to step forward a little bit more. All right, this is coming to kind of like the end of the cycle as we talk about in the Tower of the 21, right? We're moving through that journey. And the world wants to support you in that opportunities that are abound for you. So find your center, Thelma, and move it forward, all right? Take that opportunity. The universe is supporting you right now. Something's going on for you to make that shift, all right? That's what you need to do. All right, I'll take a bonus card for business, Sean. All right, Sean, did you get your book? Oh, wait, tomorrow's Monday. Look for your book, Sean. Yes, very excited to be starting off the leadership training. All right, Kimmy and then Donna. Here goes Sean, ready for your business. The moon. All right, John, this is perfect for you. We're going to focus in on intuition. The moon. This is a telling you to align with that energy of the moon. Bring up that energy that helps with our intuition, with the all-knowing, the powerful energy. Look how it sits between those trees. You're growing. You're moving. Your goals are being set. Align with your intuitive nature. This is a great card to remind us to do that. I love that energy, all right? Don't get caught in the logic. Move into the other card. All right, all right. Thelma says, thank you. All right, Kimmy. Kimmy, I'm going to draw a card for you. All right, we have the Mother of Wands. All right, the Mother of Wands is a very powerful card. She's very nurturing. Look at that birthing in there. What's going on for you, Kimmy? You've got something new coming forward. Look at the eggs. Look at that powerful energy that's coming forward. Wands is passion and desires. We know as women we're good at birthing it. So what is coming forward for you? What a great time to bring it forward. I hope you know what that is. Use that power that you have. Use that passion and desire, all right? That feminine work that we do, that intuitive work as well. But this is saying bring it through in a passionate way to birth those dreams. Don't put it off, all right? Don't put it off. Don't put it off at all. Do it now. Don't wait. All right. All right, Donna. Here we go. All right. I love this card. This is Three of Cups. Donna, it's time to celebrate. Okay. And this isn't just celebrate with anybody. This is celebrating with those that are really close to you. All right. It really is important that you find those that are meaningful in your life. Not the, not the superficial relationships. We all have those, right? But those that are really meaningful and take some time to celebrate. When we have celebration, we have gratitude. When we have gratitude, we raise our vibration. Really important to stay in that. So this is a fun card. Get out and have fun. That's a really fun thing to do right now. All right. All right, Vicki, what's going on, dear? How's everything going on in St. Louis? Drawing one for you. All right, I got a couple of hearts from Sean. Sean, I love that. Perfect. Here we go. All right, Vicki. All right, justice. Interesting. So I don't quite know exactly what all's going on for you, but this is about justice. This is about balance. All right. This is also to where we can let some of that uh, judgment go as well. But when we look for balance, look at how the black and the white is balanced there. Look at the way the sword comes in there. We need to see both sides. All right. Be careful not to create that ego energy that only wants to look at one side. Find the neutrality in it. Pull back a little bit. Witness the circumstances so that you can look at it from both sides. So if there's also any kind of legal stuff going on, maybe some of that will come forward. We are in retrograde. So if you've been working with that, not sure if your case was solved or not, but maybe some of that will come forward too. Let me know if that has anything to do with it or not. But be able to pull out, all right, get out of the ego, find the balance, right? Find both sides. That helps us to be more objective about what is going on. Hope that's helpful for you. All right, where is everybody? All right, Alexandra, I love a card. Okay, let's see, what did Kimmy say? Yes, I know what you're, okay, yay, Kimmy, very good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, here we go, Kim. Or wait, Alexandra. The star card. All right, we had the moon, now we have the star. So the star is all about not giving up hope. It really is just about really going up and looking out at the cosmos and knowing that the universe has your back. All right, Gabby always says that, the universe has your back. It's true. All right, there's lots of cosmic energy going on. Go and listen to the podcast we did at the beginning of, um, of November. Go back to the new moon in November on the Empowered Spirit Show and you can look a little, hear a little bit about what the energy of the cosmos is about. So if this card's coming up for you, right, like it is, 
Are you working with the cosmos? Are you in alignment? Or are you kind of fighting it? Are you going against it? Be sure to be in alignment with the stars. Know that there's hope up there. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's full of rainbows and light and all. So don't get despair. Don't get lost. Have that hope to come forward for you. Know and trust that it's there for you. All right? I hope that helps. Yay. Definitely. All right. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. The next full moon Yes, it's January. We have one, that's true, it's the first full moon. We're going to talk about that um, with Laurie, Z-Girl Astrology Report. Yes, because we have a January. We have two full moons in January and no full moon in February. So, yes, we definitely have some interesting cosmic events coming up, which we'll talk about. All right, it's your birthday on Thursday and your kids are coming home. Celebrate. That's perfect, Don. I love that. All right, thank you. It's almost done. All right, this week finally. All right, Vicki, it's going to come around for you. Stay in the light with it. Okay, re-listen, align more. Thank you. All right, guys, excellent, 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 excellent. So take this work with you, all right? If you haven't listened to Waking Up in 5D, go back and listen to that. If you're in the local area, December 20th, we're going to have a beautiful winter solstice at Birmingham Yoga, 6 o'clock. We're going to bring in the winter angels. Very excited for that. And the 23rd, we're going to do a master restorative and sound bath and lights. We're going to have the whole room just vibrating. So come ring out the excess energy there too. All right. Check it out. Come join me over on the Empowered Spirit Circle if you're not already there. Pranayama Tuesday, 6 a.m. Come join and do some breathing with us as well. All right, guys, hope you have a great week. Take this energy out into the week. Find the ways that you can let go, release, move it out. We're going to move into a whole new season and a whole new moon very soon. Next Sunday, I think, is the new moon, and then the week after, we have the solstice. So have a great week. Thanks for joining me so much. To your spirit. Namaste. Be empowered. Be peace. Thank y'all. Love ya.